good morning and welcome back on the Breakfast Club. You're with me, Eleanor Bla. And this morning we have a very special guest, none other than Weiren Tan. He is a go kart racer with Air Asia Team Lotus Driver Development Program. That's a really long one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we want to introduce him. He's only 16 years old. He is Malaysian, although he's on the Team Lotus uh, Development Program. And uh, Weiren, actually, I think you started when you were 13, right? Yes. And uh, you're 16 this year, so yeah. it's only three years ago that you just started. Yeah, that's right. Unbelievable. And uh, he's actually one of the most um, exciting talents to watch out for the go-karting and as well as hopefully in Formula 1 these days. Yes. Yeah, you're an <laughs> aspiring race car driver. Tell yeah. us a little bit more about that. How did that come about? Well, it all started when I know how to say car. Car, really? Yeah. <laughs> from, wh from when you were way younger as well? From Yeah. Um, and also, you know, when I was... I remember when I was about seven, mm -hmm. you know, we, me and my dad, we used to watch Formula 1 all the time. Okay. I never missed one race. Really? Yeah. So your dad was a huge Formula 1 fan as well. Oh, yeah. He's a, he's a good racer himself as well. He is. But he just never had the opportunity to, mm -hmm. to race mm -hmm. like me now. Okay. So... It's something like I am living his dream. You, you know? are living his yeah. dream. But is it your dream as well? Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> I think every boy out there has this, you know, I want to be a race car driver. So tell us a little bit about this Air Asia Team Lotus Development Pro Driver Development Program. It's a long one. How right. has the experience been being on the Air Asia team? All right, yeah. Well, I have just been recently chosen as mm -hmm. one of the drivers. Mm -hmm. So basically what they want to do is they want to make us as a whole driver, right. not just concentrate on our driving skills. Yeah. But also, like, you know how we want us to be good in interviews, mm -hmm. how to, like, public relations and right, all those. Okay. Yeah. So. Being an entirely, you know, a whole package, not That's just right, a yeah. driver that just drives a car. That's right. Okay, so you can represent the brand also, right? Yeah. So how many competitions have you entered and you know, how is your progress so far? Um, my progress so far? Mm -hmm. Well, I've, okay, I've entered about 30 races mm -hmm. until now. Mm -hmm. And so far in Europe, mm -hmm. I've done pretty well because okay. I think I'm one of the Malaysians who have mm -hmm actually finish top 10 in the final. And that's a tough thing, right? It's no easy feat to get into it's, the top 10, right? It's not easy. I yeah, can To imagine. even qualify to the finals, uh -huh. one step ahead of all the Asian uh, races over here. Yeah. Unbelievable. Because uh, what, what does it take? Uh, what uh, you know, separates you? One second, half a second, you know? Okay, so i give you an example. Uh -huh. From in Asia, mm -hmm. from the first to top 10 driver, yes. they can, it can be one second away. From the first to the top yeah. first 10, yeah. it's one second away. Yeah. So it's like point milliseconds that's separating yeah. each but, person. But in Europe, right? from first to 10, yeah. it's point 0.1 of a second. Oh my god, I yeah. can't believe how so close that, that is. Yeah, so everyone is just as competitive. Right. Yeah. Okay. And everyone has the best equipment, so yes. you can't complain about anything. Everyone has the best of the best, it's just you. You have to communicate with your mechanic, mm -hmm. everything. You, you just got to be the best and work as... Harder than everyone else if you want to be in front. So how do you, you know, you know, push yourself a, a, a little bit further? How do you separate yourself? How do you be that, you know, that point one second better than the others? You just, you know, well, if you have talent, mm -hmm. well, then that's the, your advantage. Mm -hmm. But you, of course, you got to work way harder than everyone else mm -hmm. if you want to be at the front. Mm -hmm. You got to test more than everyone else, practice more, try this, try that. Just, it's just, it gets really technical when I get into this. There's some strategy involved as well, right? It's not there just, is. you know, straight yeah. up like, you know, sit in a car and then yeah. just drive. Of course. But what that is, comes with is, experience. What is your strength? My strength? Mm. Uh, I think it's my talent mm -hmm. that came from the blood of my dad. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, dad. <laughs> and what I want to improve on yes. is actually my technical side mm -hmm. of motorsport. Okay. You know? What kind of technical? It's like, you know, in motorsport, it's so, it gets so technical right. where you... There's, okay, camber, caster, okay. every little bit, you know, you want to save as much rubber as you can as right. you go on. So all these kind of technical bits, that's what I want to improve on. Do you have input in that or the mechanics does all that or, you know, the engineers you and do the mechanic, all that? We got to work together. Okay, so yeah. you do have input in, you know, uh, making sure how your car is set up and yes. you know, how you want to drive it, yeah. you know, what kind of tires you use. So you the know? feedback we give to yes. mechanics mm -hmm. is actually the most important part. Right, so that's why it can customize exactly. for you. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So since you are still, you know, very young, you're only 16, do you think age is a factor in the competition? You know, that's, you know, is it a disadvantage? or an advantage, what do you think? I think last year, mm -hmm. I, because I was one younger than everyone else, mm -hmm. so, well, I had a disadvantage because of experience-wise and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. But I think this year, mm -hmm. I'm at the right age mm -hmm. where everyone is 16 or older. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think it's a fair game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So excellent. So, but at least you started younger, maybe a year, so that's an advantage. You have a one-year experience on, say, for example, someone who's coming in at 16. 
isn't it? Yeah, At this point I, of time. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, okay. Yeah. So therefore, Malaysia is having a little bit of advantage, hopefully. <laughs> uh, and you are actually now going to be based in Europe and racing in Europe. And yes. like you said, you know, the competition is tough. And um, are you st how, how are you doing with studies? You know, um, it, it can't be easy having to train and then having it's to go to school. It's not easy. Well, you've got to make a lot of sacrifices. Yeah. <clears throat> I... I spend very little time with my friends. Mm -hmm. Whenever I'm not at a track, mm -hmm. I'm either at home studying mm -hmm. with my tutor mm -hmm. or at the gym, you know, to keep don't my fitness level up. Don't you miss social life? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just asking. Well, when, when I can actually find the time, yeah. I will catch up with my friends and okay. everything. All right. But, but you do try to, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. touch base with your friends. With Facebook, Twitter, anything. You do? You do yeah. have time for Facebook and Twitter? When I have the time, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you have a Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. So just to share your Facebook and Twitter with you know those who want to find out a little bit more about what you're doing. Yep. Uh, how can they contact you? They can contact me through Facebook. Mm -hmm. We're on Tan. We're on one word. Tan mm -hmm. another. We're on is W E I R O N R O N one word and Tan, tan is T A N. Yeah. Okay, and you're on Twitter as well. Yep. So it's at uh, Weiren Tan. Yep, as well, as one word. W E I R O N, just in case you want to find out a little bit more about where in Tan. So, um, tell us, who do you aspire to be? I mean, you, uh, you must have some, some sort of a, a racing idol, I'm sure. Yeah, when I was young, mm? my dad used to talk, oh, Michael Schumacher is the best. Right, you know? right. Yes, no doubt. He's seven time world champion. That's right. But then he also mentioned Artin Senna, mm -hmm. and he thought that he was the legend. Yes. And he was, he passed away right. on the same year I was born. Mm -hmm. So it could be like a reincarnation or something. Oh wow, so therefore you might be watch, watching the reincarnation of Senna in our very own Malaysian Warren Tan. But yeah. you always say when I was young, you're not that old, okay? You're just 16. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that long ago. When I was younger. When you were younger, <laughs> yeah. that is correct. So where do you see yourself three to five years from now? Um, um, hopefully with the support mm -hmm. when I have sponsors and as the progression goes along, I mm -hmm. think maybe GP2 mm -hmm. or GP3. All right, so in three to five years, hopefully you'll be by GP2 yep. uh, in, say, five years. Yep. And you need uh, some support and sponsorship right now, right? Yes. That's what you source for uh, yes. always. I know, it's tough. It's very expensive. Yes, I can imagine. And you, you, um, you must be, you know, uh, putting a lot of effort to make it worthwhile. Yep. And I think motorsport is the most expensive sport you can find right. anywhere. And I'm sure uh, you have a lot of people who are looking up to you and you know, boys or, and even girls your age or younger are looking up to you. Do you have any advice to them if they are you know, looking to follow in your footsteps? You know? How do they be Weyren Tan? <laughs> okay, first of all, yes? you got to have deep pockets. Okay? <laughs> there you go. That's the first, first, first thing. You have to have deep pockets. And if you're passionate about it, you mm -hmm. have to have the commitment. Mm -hmm to make sacrifices mm -hmm. that have to be made mm -hmm. if you want to be a professional race car driver. Mm -hmm. What is your typical day like? You know, if, you, know you, you talk about sacrifice and it's very young to be doing so much sacrifice. So what does your typical day look like? Okay. When you wake up, you know, what do you do? Say, if I'm on a school day, mm -hmm. or now, say now I'm, I'm having my O-levels, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. So when I wake up, mm -hmm. I go to tuition, mm -hmm. gym, mm -hmm. come home, mm -hmm. that's it. That's it. Yeah. So you go, you go, you go school. Because I spend tuition and gym mm -hmm. almost the whole day. How many hours do you spend on that? Gym at least four hours. Every day. Every day. Oh wow! Yeah. At, at least trainer? five days a week. Then when do you train on you know on site on the cart or, or on the circuit? I'm not sure. When um, usually we train when there's a race week. Mm -hmm. We train a week or two weeks before. Mm -hmm. Usually Friday and Saturday mm -hmm. when there's less people. Okay. Yeah. Where do you train? Um, sure. Because now I'm based in Europe, but when I'm uh, training here, mm -hmm. we train usually in, you know, Subang, Elite, mm -hmm. USJ. Right, okay. Uh, or Sepang. Or Sepang. Yeah. But now that you're going to be based in Europe, where will you be training uh, from now on? I'll be train training with Cosmic Racing Department. Okay. Whenever they have testings, mm -hmm. we'll just follow them. Okay. Because they make the testings and schedules. And where is this uh, testing circuit? It depends. Because the races go around Europe, everywhere, Italy, Spain, right. Portugal. Okay, so it's not like a one a specific training ground that you base, yeah. uh, go based at. It's not. We just follow the team. Yes. Oh, excellent. It sounds really good. Uh, so uh, if any one of you want to find out a little bit more about Weiren, yeah, he can be contacted at Facebook, yes. at Weiren Tan, and uh, also on Twitter as well. Um, so... Do you, okay, you know, this is a lot of question, uh, a lot of times people ask, you know, you're so young, uh, what do your parents say about your ambition to, you know, want to be a race car driver? It's not a typical profession, you know? Yep. It's not like, you know, be a doctor, a lawyer and stuff it's like not. that. Yeah. Well, at first, yeah. you know, my parents thought, oh, you know, he likes karting, you know, so it's like more of a hobby. Mm, that's right. And then 
you know, I, I got some results, mm-hmm. quite good. My dad was also quite surprised mm-hmm. because he never thought that one of his sons, mm-hmm. well, I have I've three other brothers, right. so would be one like a race car driver. Okay. So he got an idea. Mm-hmm. He put me into a more professional team. Right. Then we started off. Mm-hmm. We see how it went. Mm-hmm. And it went pretty well. You know, I started winning, you know, on podiums, every races. Mm-hmm. And from then, you know, my ambition was to be a Formula 1 driver. Okay, so hopefully soon we will see a Malaysian driver be on the Formula 1 uh, starting grid together with, you know, all the international supercar drivers. Yeah. Um, we also wanted to... You, you do travel uh, with a, a Guardian or someone from your family as well? For um, now? Or do you go alone? Yeah, you, I, I go alone. But okay. I, fought, I have a technical director, it's mm-hmm. Rodney Magnus. Mm-hmm. Yes, he follows me to Europe. So do you miss home a lot? When I'm... The first time I went there this yeah, year, yeah. for the first four months, yeah, yeah I kind of got homesick. Kind of got homesick. But Miss the food. Yeah, the food. <laughs> the Malaysian food. But I got to yeah. sacrifice that as well. You know, like yes. the curry, nasi lemak. You oh, know. oh, yes, nasi lemak, the curry. <laughs> you can't get away. You Being a Malaysian food is everything, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> well, there you go. At the end of the day, we wanted to you know, share with you a little bit about wherein uh, if you are aspiring to be one, you know, you have to make sacrifices. Yep, that's Correct? right. That's, right. that's all the time we have now. Thank you, Wearin, for joining us. Thank you very we'll, much. We look forward to you know, watching your career grow and be successful and put Malaysia on the F1 map. Thank you very much. That's all the time we have on The Breakfast Club. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you. It's very good to have you.